Hello and welcome back to My Hero Academia. We're returning to this show for the first time this year. I've taken a two-week break, although in terms of YouTube releases, that's not going to be anything to you. Because, yeah, took a two-week break over Christmas and New Year's, but I delayed my previous reactions, which were scheduled to come out over that time, by two weeks. So there'll be no gap where you're concerned. Returning to My Hero Academia, a show I'm very excited to be returning to because... In a time where everything is just shit, you need something to just get you in a good mood, hype you up sometimes. Last time, this is the start of the final brackets of the tournament, the start of the finals. We've got 16 contestants facing off in bracket style tournament. The one we're starting with is Midoriya versus Shinzo, a guy who can apparently control minds when you speak to him. So, Deku's got to advance. Shoto said it himself, so, yeah. Deku's got to advance, so I wonder how he's going to break Shinzo's mind control. And I hope, hopefully he can do it by showing off a bit of his power, because he hasn't really done that just yet. Let me move the camera up a bit, because I feel like I have to slouch to be seen on it. That's where we're at right now, and... But at the beginning, in, in last episode, we also learned that Endeavor is a bit of a dick. Because he bought off Todoroki's mother's relatives so that he could marry her and have a kid with her. With, obviously, the ice and fire powers between them. And he's using Todoroki now to try and usurp All Might as the number one hero. And also, Todoroki has had a bit of a past where his mother has thrown boiling water over his face. So yeah, bit of a fucked up family there. And that story in last episode made... I mean, before, Todoroki was one of the favourites to win the, the competition, but now he's my favourite to win this competition. Because I desperately want Todoroki to win this competition now. Like, he's facing Deku very soon, so I want him to win. I want him to get to the finals, win the finals, and be the number one. Because if, if Todoroki doesn't win this competition, I am going to riot, I am going to storm the US Capitol, and I'm going to sit in Nancy Pelosi's office because I am a retard. And I'm following the whims, I'm following the orders of a man who has demonstrated to be a sore loser, has said that he's going to leave with dignity and hold his head high, but he has shown nothing of the sort so far. So, enjoy that little rant I just went on. So, yeah. Because, honestly, you guys storming the US Capitol, you are a bunch of retards. Because <laughs> it's not exactly like they're going to put him back in his old office. Be just because you're doing this. In fact, they'll pro the government will probably do it, keep him out permanently, out of spite, because you've done this. So I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish there. But yeah, we're returning to anime now. We're we don't care about the real world. I just want to get excited. And anime does that for me. Well, my hero does that for me anyway. So shall we just get into season two, episode seven? Izuku versus Shinso starting right now. His quirk is incredibly strong, but that entrance test consisted of fighting faux villains. Robots. They gave a huge advantage to those who had physical superpowers. Yeah, but not those that he could control mentally. Shinso never stood a chance at passing. Now turn around and walk out of bounds like a good little hero. Oh wow. Even in tests where he didn't use his quirk, he outperformed Shinso. If they fought without powers, Midoriya would almost certainly win. Wow. But he'd have to overcome Shinso's brainwashing to do that. I feel like my brain's full of fog. I can't concentrate. No! Not like this! Can I beat something like that? Yes, by not giving him a chance to use it. He didn't get into my head until I answered a question he asked me before the second round. So I have to be careful not to say anything or I'll lose for sure. Not exactly. Even if he gets you, there's still a chance. I bumped into another person and it was like I woke up. I was me again. And so 
Ooh. That's, that's an interesting weakness. Yeah. It's very helpful. No! No! Ooh! What's this? Go! Oh! We won't! Hello, midnight. Sacrifice. You ain't gonna win now. Wow. Oh! Oh, that hurt. Oh! Just what he did to catch on in the test. And he's automatically made me feel for him. Why do you want to be a hero? What's driving you? Everyone thinks him a villain, but he doesn't want to be. You can't help the things your heart longs for. I felt the same way. Yeah. Back, I inherited one for all. Back when he had no quirk. <sighs> you were awesome out there, Shinso! Uh, we're proud of you! You didn't tell us you were that good! Yeah, you're the star! Such a great fight against the dude who was in first place earlier. You're the quirk like that. It would be very simple to capture dangerous villains. Wish I had it. I can't believe they stuck me in general studies. Those idiots. Well, there are a ton of applicants each year. I guess sometimes people slip through the cracks. Mm -hmm. I feel happy for him. Depending on the results. Sort of. Uh, he got me again. Why? The match is over. If you're not on guard, someone's going to defeat you. So be careful. You better not lose and make me look bad. Right. I won't! <laughs> he got him again! Have you been putting too much pressure on him again? Yes! Oh! It was necessary and that hurt! When I was under Shinsu's control, it felt like my brain was full of fog or something. But when the vision appeared, it completely drove the fog away. One of the figures had eyes just like yours on my Yeah, I was thinking that. Think all the people who've used one for all in the past were there pushing me on. It's a clear sign that you're getting closer to making one for all your own power. What was it? I think it's like a trace of a user's spirit to float behind him. Yes, the, the ghosts of past all mites. Whatever. More importantly, shouldn't you be worrying about who you're fighting next? <laughs> Todoroki. Or Sero, but it won't be Sero, so it's Todoroki. What do you want? Oh You're acting disgracefully, Shoto. It's time to stop this childish rebellion of yours. You have a duty to surpass that imbecile All Might. Is that all you have to say to me, you bastard? Oh I'll win this match in advance using only mom's quirk. I won't give you the pleasure of seeing me use yours. <laughs> This is, this is going to be quite quick. We'll probably get a third match by the end of this episode. This isn't going to be long.
What? What the hell did you do? Whoa! Damn! That's angry. Todoroki took a moment to melt his opponent from the ice prison he'd created. For some reason, in that moment, he looked very sad to me. Okay, there won't be a second match, but Jesus Christ, that was a hell of a first one. Well, a hell of a, there won't there won't be a third match, but that was a hell of a second one and a first one. Whew, that was a hell of a time back. Let's go through the notes. I've got five. Uh, brainwashing. Yeah, it's a hell of a it's a hell of a power. And what Aizawa was saying as well, like he only failed the practical exam because he wasn't able to take mental control of the robots they were fighting. If they were fighting against people in that practical exam, like stunt people designed to just stunt people just there to like fight them, then he he would have passed with flying colours on that, but because of the circumstances of the practical exam, that's why he failed. And he applied for general studies as well because he he thought that might happen. So he didn't so he wanted to pass, but he didn't expect to. But there's a there's a weakness to that power. You just have to get a little shock, a little bump or a shock or something to just break the hold. So it's a bit it's a bit of a weakness, but it's still a hell of a strength. Well, the the brainwashing is a hell of a power, but it's got a bit of a weakness as well. Because if you try if you try mentally controlling someone in like a populated area, then well, not these days. But if you try po uh, brainwashing someone in like a city center or a populated area, then that that power is going to get broken pretty fast. Because it's so easy to just get barged around by someone. So just a little shock can bring you out of it. But Deku was in a wide open space with no one else around, so. It looked pretty bleak until the past All Mights showed up, like the ghosts of all the All Mights that have come before. It's sort, it's sort of like that, you know, at the end of the Rise of Skywalker, when all those, all the Jedi, all the past, all the all the ghosts of the past Jedi sit, are like behind Rey as, as she gets up, and you hear all those voices. It's sort of like that, and obviously one of them. Looks like the regular All Might in his small form, which he said. But does that mean that it's soon going to be time for All Might to pass on the full legacy of All Might? Because he said it was, he said it was a good thing. So that means, does that mean that he he is about to give up his power and he's going to give it all to Deku? Because this is that he said that was a sign that Deku was gonna gain all the power soon enough he's going to make one for all his own and then after that after that little shock that got him out of it it was pretty easy to it was a pretty easy fight from there on out you just push him back to the line flip and flip him over you just like you did with Kachan in the, in the test and then it's over and i loved i loved the like the little analysis that Aizawa was doing whilst it was happening. He he was he was high he was basically highlighting like obviously yes Shinzo's power is great and if he was fine against normal people in the practical exam he would have got through to the hero course. But but even then Izuku Deku still surpassed almost all the other tests in terms of them too. So, so he was saying that if it was down to non-quirks, then Izuku Deku would still win the fight, which sort of what it came down to because he didn't really. Once he got the a little shock out of his system, 
and he was he was free of the control. He didn't have to use his quirk. It just became a it just became a fight. He full on Shinzo full on punched him in the face. Yeah, it was a pretty easy fight. He didn't need to use his quirk. So I love that Deku. He's got the most power on there. He's got the he's probably got the most power on the whole class, probably in the whole school. But that's not why he's advancing. He's he's advan He's in the school because of the because of the small brief showings of his power and everyone's everyone's thinking about that when they look at him but that's not what's getting him to advance he's doing it on his own strengths but after the match was over the little flashback of Shinzo in school and the feels that it, it made you feel like at the beginning of this episode, I did not feel for this guy whatsoever. I was like, this is a guy that Deku's going to beat, but how? But now, I feel for him. I want him to succeed. This show can this show can get you to feel for a character in less than five minutes. And it's amazing. Cause because of Shinzo's power, he's always seen as a villain. He's always seen as someone who can be a villain. Which, mind control is a very villain-like power. I don't think I don't think I know of a hero who's got might. Like in in Marvel or DC, I don't think I know of a, a hero that's got mind control power. But yeah, everyone's always thinking of him as as a villain. But he doesn't he doesn't want to be. He wants to be a hero. He wants to help people. And everyone's always looking at him as a bad guy. We did as well as the viewers. We looked at him for a bad as a bad guy for some time. And then it was a. It was hard to watch him walk away. He also relates to Deku on so many levels. To not be able to get what you want because of circumstances. And that's what Deku was like before he got one for all. He wanted to be a hero so much, but he had no quirks. So people didn't take him seriously. And then there was that heartwarming thing where Shinzo was looking at the crowd and people were saying that he had a great power and that he could be a good hero. And uh, I hope I hope we see more of him. I hope he's not just for this tournament. I want to see more of him. I want to see him succeed. After that, there was a second match. But beforehand was a little brief encounter between Endeavor and and Todoroki. It's it's pro it's exactly what we expected that that meeting to be. Him saying, "You use your use your fire powers." And him saying he won't because he doesn't want to. It's, it's exactly... He was basically telling him what he was telling Deku in the last episode. He, he'll he get by on his ice powers and, and not and not his fire ones. Todoroki, he had some pent-up aggression in the match with Sero. It went no longer than I thought that match would. B bloody God, was that a hell of a show of strength. He's fighting Deku next. Ugh... He full on encased like almost half of that arena in ice. <sighs> Todoroki is an insanely powerful character, but he continues to develop as an emotional character as well. So it's just another strength of this show. You can get someone by on their weaknesses, but also show a lot of character through their strengths as well. I I'm insanely glad to be back on this show. I missed it so much. I, and I was only off it for two weeks. If you want to watch the full length reactions of this episode, you can go over to Patreon for $3. If you want to see four episodes in advance, so if you're watching this episode on YouTube, you can watch all the way up to episode 11, possibly, on my early access on Patreon for just $5 a month. Recent, recently started more uploading on my $10 tier, which is full length movie reactions. That'll be a monthly thing from now on. Go over If you want to go over to Patreon, you can vote in a poll that I've put up there for my $10 movie at the end of this month. Of, at the Well, at the end of January. It'll be the end of February at this point, so there'll be a new poll. So, yeah. There'll be a poll on my, there'll be a poll on my Patreon for this month. And whatever movie you vote for, the votes will add up to a lead movie. A movie that will probably get the most views hopefully and that'll be the movie i react to at the end of this month todoroki continues to impress deku continues to excel or gain more power and 
Shinzo has just started me getting feels. So, a good episode. So, until next time, we are over and out.